welcome to ipart sala myself art prabha assistant professor in the department of textiles and clothing avinash lane institute of home science and higher education for women coimbatore dear students today we are going to see the colorful textile printing introduction textile printing is a method of depositing color onto the fabric and other textile materials a range of imaginary designs and patterns can be achieved in a number of ways it can be defined as localized dyeing color is applied on the cloth and the form of design one or more colors can be used textile printing is considered as a control process to dye fabric in definite patterns or designs it involves transfer of color based on the specified location of the fabric let us see the objectives of the textile printing to identify the historical background of textiles to bring and understand the history of printed textiles in india and on the world to get get impressive with the source and evolution of printed textiles to gain knowledge about the evolution of textiles from the origin and know the origin of historical textiles to identify with the creation of techniques and the design with the orientation to colors and motifs let us move on to the meaning of textile printing this is another one technology in wet processing the printing is the important process of coloring in a desired area of textile fabric this is also similar to dyeing the only difference dyeing is coloring the whole area of the fabric whereas printing is performing the specific area of the material printing is followed after the pre treatment processing now we have to see the history of textile printing the asian continent has the longest tradition of decorating fabric using textile printing methods antique textile was very old and rare the reason for that is the only stay alive in certain environments early days man was printing on the fabric in east asia and egypt in the year of 4th century bc textile printing came to be known in the early age this was familiar with the art of application of color find out the cave paintings the prehistoric people painting his body with the colors this evidence proved that the ancient civilization of indian and egypt people known about the textile printing as early as 16000 bc even european peoples also became known this art stencil work started in the early stage to form a textile printing and it was developed by japanese craftsmen block printing techniques also practiced by them in wood laterly they came to know the usage of copper and other barren materials in 1718 roller printing technique was developed with a cylinder model and the fabric is carried on the rotating cylinder passed on it each colors carried out with the separate rollers the roller design is created on copper material by hand or machine by presser or etched by two methods one is photograph another one is photo engraving methods the application of colors on the fabric by rotating the roller through the color box the surplus color scrapped off with the help of knives the significant contribution was given by the state of andhra pradesh to the history of hand printed fabric in india now we see the difference between dyeing and printing in dyeing only mono color can apply whereas in printing single or multi color application is possible salt or chemical is need for dyeing but in printing it is not required in dyeing temperature is used for better penetration but in printing temperature is not needed water plays an important role in dyeing but in printing thickening agent plays an important role in dyeing percentage shade is calculated on the weight of the material by in printing percentage shade is calculated on the weight of the paste in dyeing time is allowed for better penetration whereas in printing time is not required since color is applied only on the surface of the fabric in dyeing simple machinery such as tanks winches jigger soft flow and padding mangle are required but for printing it is more complex by a way of design screen preparation printing machines and after processing machines the cost of dyeing per meter is lower than the cost of printing the process of dyeing consumes more time than printing dyeing consumes more water than printing now we see the basic printing types are divided into three major groups that is direct printing discharge printing and resist printing 
let us we have the meaning of direct printing direct printing is a process by which colorants containing dyes thickeners and the mordant or substances necessary for fixing the color on the fabric are printed in the desired pattern directly this is most common used technique and is widely applied in modern industry pigment as possible of blocks may be used the number is not restricted in block printing recently the rayon scarves printed with 120 application made on the material somewhat expensive naturally next we see the discharge printing techniques discharge printing was discovered early in 18000 period in discharge printing unlike direct printing the fabric is printed in dyed by dischargeable dyes first next the dye is printed with paste containing chemicals which have the ability to destroy the dyed colors color on the printed pattern will be discharged after steaming this type of printing is done on both fine and delicate patterns also a very careful process is required one of the problem arising in discharge printing is the invisible printed pattern on the background colors next resist printing in resist printing method dyes applied of a fabric but not fixed because a resist formulation is printed on selected area of the fabric the resist area agent prevent fixation of the dye in subsequent processing the unfixed dye is washed away leaving a white pattern if the resist agent is applied before the dye the method is called a pre print process this type of printing is older than direct and a discharge method now we move on to the types of printing block printing blotch printing duplex engraved roller method electrostatic flock printing photo inkjet screen stencil yarn brush transfer warp special method tie and dye and batik printing first we see block printing this type of printing was very oldest and simplest method comparison with other methods of printing commercially it is not important because it is very slow printing method cannot produce large quantity by this type of style this type practiced in which countries labor is less costly it is chiefly found in decorative pieces and the production of upholstery purpose for block printing the design created on a wooden or metal block in a carving method the dye paste applied on the face of the block then pressed on the surface area of the fabric to get even print the pressure is followed uniformly the earliest area where block printing developed by andhra pradesh and gujarat in india the skill of block printing began in the 18th century in rajasthan and the craft has been followed by from generation to generation the excellent design existing block printing is still found in the states rajasthan developed sp special technique of printing and dyeing of cotton fabric in gujarat the use of wooden blocks for printing was more common the period of buddha's time trades in cotton cloth have existed in india and babylon india printed and woven cotton cloth exported to indonesia malaya and the far east countries surat emerges as a prominent center for export of painted and printed fabric now we see roller printing roller printing is a large quantity of fabric is most frequently achieved through roller printing techniques the design is engraved on the series of rollers one roller per color is used and then attached to circulating drums as the rollers return dye is spread across them and the fabric is fed over the face of each roller until all colors have been applied duplex printing this process of printing the same or different designs on face and back of the cloth is done in duplex printing method either the fabric is passed through the printing machine in two separate operation or it is printed by the special machine is called a duplex printing machine which print both sides simultaneously duplex printing is also called printing of both side of the goods with the same or different motifs woven fabric effects are in simulated in this work curtains hangings some sportswear are printed by this duplex printing method the design is done in a skillful manner with very careful registration of the printing the only method of identification of the design is detected by pulling the yarn next screen printing 
Crane printing is a printing technique that uses a patterned partial paste blocked mesh screen. The open area of the mesh screen can transfer color paste onto the fabric by squeezing the paste with a roller of squeezy. Because of simplicity of the application process, the wider range of dyes is available in screen printing than that in any other printing process. Depending on screen shape, like applied, screen printing can be classified as flat screen printing and a rotary screen printing. Nowadays, the screen are made in nylon, polyester or any other synthetic material. The screen consists of wooden or metallic frame. Every design must have separate screens. This method was originally done, done by hand. Recently, this type of printing was done even machine. Next one, stencil printing. Stencil printing is another method used for several hundred years in countries around the world. A stencil is applied on the cut out area of the thin material. The design is usually limited to the application and generally used for small decorative or narrow width fabric. This is also very slow processing print like block printing. The printing usage is limited due to high cost involved in this method. Next is transfer printing. Transfer printing generally requires many steps to process. First, the design is printed on the thin, flat substrate. The transfer printing technique is quite recent development. A certain design is printed on paper and then transferred on the fabric. Historically, many textile printing techniques have utilized the concept of transfer printing. Today, sublimation transfer printing is the most common technology and utilizes the sublimation properties of dispersed dyes. In the printing step, designs are printed on fabric with the dispersed dyes inks which contain the dispersed dye molecules in the solid state. To transfer the design onto the cloth, the printed fabrics are placed securely on the fabric. This type of printing were introduced in the year of 1960. This type of printing literally transfer the printing from one surface to another so it is called transfer printing. Heat transfer technique have many advantages, it has less amount of expensive. Printing a fabric with this technique is much faster and produce large amount of fabric in a very less time. The next type of printing is blotch printing. Blotch printing is a direct way of printing an image on a substrate by printing, printing the black background of the image to definite the design by the area that do not print. The non-printed area remains same base color. The original color of the substrate in the desired image or pattern other colors that can be ordered within these areas to produce a multicolors. The blotch printing might be used to imitate a chemically produced discharge print with a large area of pigment print. Usually produce a fabric with a stiff tough or hand. The next type of printing is airbrush or spray printing. Airbrush printing is an automated hand technique where artist followed a pattern freehand or fills in a stencil area with an air powered gun that produce light and even layer of printing. Electrostatic printing. A printing technique is similar to electrostatic flocking. A prepared screen is covered with powdered dye mixed with a carrier that has electric properties. The screen is kept about half an inch above the fabric. When the screen and the fabric pass through the electric field, the dye procedure is pulled onto the material or fabric. That time the print is take place with the help of heat fixing. In this method, the dye powder finely and mix with the carrier such as natural or synthetic resin. These have the property of high dye electric for the printing techniques. Next we move on to the photo printing techniques. In this technique, the digitally printable image for textiles, the designer can incorporate this use of high resolution image to push the limit of photo realistic printing. This method useful to develop realistic and also possible to produce through the traditional printing methods. All designs can be reproduced if the photographer and the technician are careful. Sophisticated form of photo printing in the schematic process. Warp printing. In this method, the printing the warp yarn is printed initially and there the weaving is done. The patterns are applied by using engraved roller 
flat bed roller or rotary screen or the warp yarn prior to weaving. In this, the filling yarns are solid in color and the warp yarns are in printed with the design. Warp printing is very time consuming and expensive process having a mute hazy appearance. Next type of printing is tie and dyeing. Tie and dye is a coloration method based on the resist type of method. In this process, the tie and dye typically consists of folding, twisting and gathering together. This type of technique done with hand and can be applied colors on the fabrics. This method practiced by the people of Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Orissa with a different method of tying. Tie date style is a similar to batik in that it is an ancient resist method developed in the same countries. It is particularly associated with Japan where it is considered a historic art from first the fabric is folded, gathered, knotted and tied with the wax string or rubber band and then dipped into a dye bath. After dry, the tied thread or rubber band is removed from the fabric. Next, batik dyeing. Batik is a resist type of dyeing. This process, the molten wax is applied to the fabric first and then to dyeing take place. After dyeing, wax is removed from the fabric. This is an art developed in Java Indonesia artist, especially in central Java. The original meaning of the word batik is art of drawing or writing on a piece of a cloth with the help of molten wax. Next, digital printing. This method, the design is developed with the help of CAD and then printed on the fabric using CAD. These type of print take place directly onto the fabric. Using this technique, a piece of fabric print with inexpensively in a large enough quantity. Let me conclude the printing. Today, the dyeing and printing are the important part of the modern technology in the textile finishing. The interest in use of textiles as a platform of designs for decoration or identification has existed for many centuries. The development of modern equipment and dyeing technology has able to reproduce highly qualified textiles with excellent color fastness properties. It can be performed in wide varieties of fiber and fabric formation. The economical level of the production is lesser than before technology. However, as good as textile printing continue to improve the quality and innovation in new techniques for the forthcoming generation people in future. Hope you all understand about the textile printing introduction.